Yeah. Hello, sketchbook heroes and sketchbook warriors. Here we are another week. We're going to be drawing tonight. We've got some uh, holiday drawings and we've got all kinds of other little houses and who knows what else we can get to. We'll try to jump as much as we can into two hours. So we might go a little over, but uh, we'll see. Uh, let's uh, let's start by sharing my screen and we'll see what we've got uh, submitted uh, into our, our drawing class here. These are the drawings you have submitted. Well, yeah, where we go? Starting off, I kind of reordered <clears throat> reordered them. So this, is good. this is the most simplest one, but you can learn from it. So we'll do that one. And then it gets a little more complex. That one's definitely more complex. So kind of intermediate. I give it a go. Uh, we've got uh, the, the Grinch's hands. He's a mean one. Then we got a candle, which is a, we'll try to simplify that one. And then we got some bells, another bell. This one's definitely, you can see the detail. They're very similar, but this one, this one, um, I'm flat, a good starting point. And then here on this one, they just they definitely decorated it more uh, cross hatching and a lot more detail in it. But it's pretty much the same. It's pretty much the same. You can see this one's simpler, sim simplified, especially when you're first learning to draw. Start with something like this and then decorate it later. You, you actually even, you know, it really build up your skills. And then uh, we got Santa here. And we got this one. Definitely we'll draw that one with the shading. And then we've got, uh, oh yeah, we got Charlie Brown tree. And we've got pine cones. Might do these really quick as a sketch. Uh, for, you know, sketches we can uh, do quicker. And then something like here, the below, this is a drawing. But if we do it as a sketch, sketch, we can get more done. Get more done and really more exercise, more practice. You really want to practice, practice, practice. And, and don't worry about drawing so much. Just worry about sketching. Get get the sketching out. Get get all that out. And then, then making it look refined later. This is an interesting little challenge. We'll sketch this one out real quick as well. Hopefully. Now here's where it gets a lot more detailed. But it, you know, it's all about angles. It's about square. You can see kind of the, the square and the triangle up on top and just a lot of detail decorated. You know, really interesting. These houses, the perspective on this. A little. I don't know if we'll get to those houses and this too. This is really nice. We do do a second night if you want to try these on your own and then uh, we can actually, uh, we do our second night on Tuesdays for intermediate advance, but we're studying faces right now with our uh, Loomis head and that's what we're doing. Uh, ready and there it is uh, we wish you a merry christmas yep there's another one and then somebody submitted uh some work too i think somebody's i don't know if that person is here amy um some some of her watercolors really good that she's uh, experimenting with watercolors and uh and really love this sky back here that the colors and stuff that's happening up here is really amazing this is why i love watercolor and just just throw stuff together and, and uh sometimes you get some amazing effects this is really cool. I've done I've done uh, palm trees. They're 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 challenging. They're really interesting. Like here, how they're more open. The hardest thing is to try to get them to be open, and and you see the shape. That's great. You see the shape now. Just to open up the shape. Maybe we can uh, talk about that. I think I don't know if we've done that before. All right. Why don't we just jump in here? Uh, we'll start off with this uh, this the turtle the turtle turtle. Here we go. We'll start off with the turtle. Let's get as many drawings as we can. Uh, it's a good warm up. Um, again, we'll break it down. For those of you who are new, we're going to break this down. We're going to try to see what we see and artists see shapes. I can see this already, which is it, it, with the top of the shell is a circle, but it, the top part is stretched out. So it's not exactly a perfect circle, which is interesting. Um, and and this, this makes it, um, yeah, just like a, it, it's different. You'll see, watch if I put a circle on top of it. The bottom is actually more rounded like a circle, but you'll see. Uh, let's let's do this. So here's my perfect circle. And you can see it's really close. It's really close. It's really close to the circle, but it does stretch out a little bit. There's a little bit of a stretch. Oops, speaking of, yeah, I guess like an oval. But I, I, I'm, I'm sensing it's more like, um, like right in here, like it's it's pulled out a little bit. So if you were to get this, yeah, there we go. If I mark it right there, you can see how it comes in a little bit. Uh, the center is pulled out, and then the the sides are kind of pushed down. Uh, but it's pretty much a half circle uh, or a part of a circle, a little bit less than half. This side is bigger, but it's rounder. So let's stretch it out, make sure it's perfectly round. There we go. And you see this. There we go. There it is. Look at see that. Yeah, right. That was, 
and it's still not perfectly. I think it still pulls a little bit. So I'd have to squeeze this a little bit. There we go, just a little bit, not too much more. And there it is. Ah, that fits better. So it's not even a perfect circle. It's slightly, slightly ovalish, slightly ovalish. If you want to be a perfectionist. But no, it's good to see a good observe. You can see like this foot is a little bit bigger than this one. A lot of times it's, you know, uh, you don't have to get that accurate, but it's good to see. It's good to observe. It's good to see, compare, contrast. How's it the same? How's it different? Uh, sometimes it does matter. Um, but here we go. Let's just jump on in and let's do this. We have something in the chat as we jump in. Is there a link for this? Yes, there is. Uh, let me see. Right click. Oh, hold on. Let me clear my drawing. Carol drawings. There we go. Put it in the chat. Ah, and let me go back to my mouse. Right click, copy image address. There we go. There's the link. Thank you for reminding me. I get excited and I forget stuff. There we go. There it is. Oh, and then we can zoom in. That's the link. Uh, let me put the link in the chat. There we go. There it is. All right. Cool. Let's get started. All right. So, um, you know, we can start off with our circle. Uh, there goes it right side up. Or are we upside down still? There we go. That's better. And then let me see. Let me. Uh... Oh, that's exciting. And that's what I want to do. I want to help people that help people. If you help, uh, you know, I know somebody's talking about making a uh, coloring book. That's great. And there's actually, I saw something like that too online where um, you can do coloring books. Um, there's well there's it's amazing what the, the ai stuff is doing nowadays it's it's insane insane all right so i'm going to start off with my circle here it is my circle just a sketch see it's a good practice just to see how i did that like an airplane just circling a lot of these lines are wrong but uh, the, i can see which one would be right if i wanted to go back in here and really get it going and if i see my halfway point here here's halfway when you're first starting out, this is what you do, right? You, you, it, it's a little bit slower, just like the, uh, I know, slowly but surely. That's me, actually. I remember slowly but surely um, being that turtle. And it, it's a little bit wider. So, I mean, it, it's actually probably just top is flattened out a little bit. That's what's happening. Top is flattened out a little bit. And it does pull in slightly from what I was looking at. It does pull in slightly if we want to get really accurate. And again, it wasn't a total half circle. It was up there. And then this part, yeah, this part is rounded. And this is this is what I would see to be a little more accurate. You don't have to be this accurate or this picky, but you want to see that's how I got that. And that's how I got this accurate. Um, like, hey, the mama turtle will recognize this baby turtle. Like, hey, that's not my baby shell. All right, there it is. And then uh, really simple, uh, we've got the oval that's back here. It's an oval with back foot. And it's it's really just like an oval. And if we really, uh, there's a little bit of a push down here. I'm not, <laughs> hopefully I'm not confusing you because I'm, I'm making it uh, a little more complex than it is. And then the other ones I'm going to try to simplify. And this is just because I'm trying to make it accurate, but you don't have to. It's just really just a, a circle or an egg shape. There's overlapping. It goes underneath, right underneath there. And there we go. Just going a little bit darker. Um, then on this other one, we've got the other leg, other foot. Let's straighten it out. All right. Let's see. Let's check the chat. See if there's anything in the chat. No, nope, it's just me. And let me see. Let me see. I think I can spotlight me. If, okay. Sometimes that helps. There it is. Spotlighting myself. I'm just making sure all of my things are in there and i can see how big this is compared to this i mean if i go here here's my half and you can see here's the, a half again about a fourth it's a little bit less than a fourth um yeah pretty much it's a little less than a fourth but if you got it a fourth you can see the fourth just a little bit more than the fourth you got to use the fourth luke and then on this side too this side is actually a little smaller so if we go fourths you can use the fourth again but um if you want to shoot for accuracy and this one doesn't have that a little bit of a push this one actually really is more of a and it, all this stuff doesn't matter <laughs> but i'm really shooting for accuracy i'm really shooting for accuracy when you're, you and you got to know what level of accuracy you want to shoot for when you're drawing i'm like oh i want to make it exactly and and pulling your hair out and stuff like that i've been there done that 
you know but sometimes it's like wow you know you you get it and it's like oh my gosh it looks just like it but um you know now they have ai <laughs> they have cameras i had an art teacher that said oh well if you want it so real just take a picture <laughs> and it's true but it does develop your skill you do want to develop that skill right like here what is it what's actually happening we can actually just add a circle here a circle but it does it does kind of like pull out it does pull out and then it, it's uh it, there's a little bit of a pull around there and then it comes back down down here right i see where the line starts i see where the line stops i didn't do a perfect circle but but it helps just put that in there and then this just goes up and over i think i'm making it bigger than than it has to be i'm changing the proportions i can already see it so if i wanted to make it more accurate i would have to make it smaller make it smaller and then uh and then bring it down around it round it back to the spot or mr mr try to be accurate as possible and that's proportions once once you uh i kind of was making the head a little bit out of proportion but we fixed it i caught it sometimes you don't catch these things how big something is compared to something else there we go we'll clean it up and there's our, there's our turtle head turtle turtle and somewhere a little bit off center here if i found the middle right there i can see that circle i in there right in there on this side it's pretty big Let's see how big it is see once you have one shape it's like a puzzle you're putting your these pieces together how big is this eye are you going to do it how big you don't just look at this eye you look at the space around it you know the space around it so there's my circle eye and then uh the little moon well, actually do your eye and then I'll catch up. He's not smiling. He's got such a serious face. Let's put a little bit more of a smile on him. We don't have to copy exactly. That's the whole thing about copying is we can we can change it to what we want. So there we go. A little bit more of a smile. I'm gonna put a little bit of a cheek on him too. I'm gonna put a little bit of a cheek on him going that way. There we are. Make him smile. Make his day. You know, when you see people smile, it does actually make uh it makes you smile. Yeah, that's why you should people more people should smile unless you're really down in the dumps. Been there when people smile, it's like it makes you feel like it doesn't it doesn't feel too good. It's like why are you so happy? Oh, you know why? Like, because yeah, I don't know. It's like while well, you have that, I know, been there, done that. But it's it's good to smile. Sometimes uh, I don't know. It's hard. Well, I got myself out of it. I got myself out of it. Sometimes you know, it's, people can try to help, but uh, all right. <laughs> going off on the edge here we're going to put the highlight the highlight in here and this is uh, just a little circle inside the circle and uh, try to keep it white and then everything else the pupil will shade it in shade it all in i sometimes wait till the end for this and 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 um we're going a little bit out of order i usually sh uh, draw really lightly like this circle here like the, the base and then i build on top of it at the end but uh, we're just doing it. It's a pretty simple drawing. It's not all that challenging. The next one we're going to do is going to be a, a challenge. Whoa, or even the inside part of this. Let's see. Wow, yeah, we can, we're definitely going to have to do this. Because I can. this is where you do need to sketch. Uh, here and here, This is there's, there's parts. So I, I see, I can see this part here, this shape here. And I'm not drawing it exactly. I'm just drawing how, how tall it is and how wide it is. And it's, it's really close to a circle maybe a little bit lower and just by drawing that circle i can see the space that it takes up and it's it's uh then from here we can start actually breaking it down into the the other shapes all right so get that that little shape in there it's kind of like a circle shape in that space and notice how big it is not just the the space itself but the negative space the space around it all right we're going to skip the 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 tail for now uh, and then actually, we're, why don't we add this bottom part too as well? That way we can see the spacing as well. So there's a little bit of a lip and that kind of comes all the way down here. It's parallel with the bottom. I'm just going to do it in one swipe. Or nice and dark right there. I actually build up my drawings and do a sketch or just do a quick sketch. The other ones will be quicker. Now here I can see, I'm going to bring this up a little bit higher. I can say it's right about there. I'm seeing how it fits. There we go. That's good. Now we're just going to make that circle 
into we're going to break down this almost the two sides it's like a pentagon there's one side two three four and f is it five one two three four five six no it's six it's a sextagon i, I believe what is that called okay google what is a six-sided figure hexagon uh, hexagon. You know, octagon, they're all polygons. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, ignorance is a choice. Ignorance is a choice. Just ask. All right, so I'm looking at this. This actually curves a little bit more. If I want to try to get a little more accurate. And sometimes you're doing that. And sometimes it doesn't matter and you're doing it really quick. But I'm showing you what I kind of go through with a simple drawing to get accuracy. And then here we have um, this coming down, this this other shell piece right there. There it is. And it looks actually, I'm looking at my ratios. It looks thinner than it is taller. But I made my ratios wrong here on this one. That's okay. I can see it and say, oh, it's all right. We'll just let it slide. We'll let it slide. We'll get it next time. Unless we want to start over. That's all good. Next time. Next time. It's all about the practice. That's what we're doing here. Just practice. This is our mind stream. Getting a glimpse of what I think about and what I do when I'm drawing. And then see, they're just going out. Now, these have really nice curves. The way they, they, this curves and it goes around, it almost wraps around that, that sphere because that, that is a, a half dome, semisphere, semisphere. There it is. I think that's it. We just need the tail with our happy little turtle. There we go. And curve it up. And then curve it back. And it does taper. If you need to move your paper like this, it, it does come up. And then it goes from thin to thick. Thin to thick. Try to get that taper. That's really important. Because you're more than just drawing a line. You're, you're making a shape. And you want to see the first line is easy. The second one, you want to see how it tapers and gets wider. You're almost focusing on something different. All right, there's our turtle. Turtle, turtle. If you want to shade it, add another turtle. Take it at your own pace. Some of you uh, who are new, uh, you know, you go at your own pace. If it's too easy, you know, challenge yourself. If it's too hard, we break it down. If we need to break it down again, we'll break it down. Go slower. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, hexagon. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Let's share my screen. All right, there you are. Oh, here we go. All right, so there's our, our, uh, our turtle turtle. There's the original. We'll do, oh, this one. Oh, this one's going to be interesting. All right, so this one's going to be a little more of a challenge. Uh, we're going to take on this. Uh, let, me, let me make it bigger. Let's copy this. Copy image address. Let me put it in the chat first thing <laughs> before I get, I got to get into a groove. I got to get into the flow. So let's see. Here we go. There's the, there's that. Before I forget, let's put it here. Paste. There we go. All right, nice and big. All right, so um, what I'm seeing here, when I, I've drawn hearts before, basically hearts are two circles and a triangle. So let's break it down so you can see how this heart is made. Uh, and it's these hearts are actually a little bit more of an oval shape. They, they, there is a bit of a pull. Let's see if we do put an exact circle in there. You can see that circle there, and it kind of pulls out. There's another circle on this side. Right in there, probably the same size. Let's try to get the same size. Let's move it over. <clears throat> there we go. So these are more like oval shapes. Right now I'm putting circles in there, but it's like these oval shapes, and then it's that triangle. Uh, let's start, get some lines in here. Actually, let's get our square in here, because uh, I can see this rectangle shape this rectangle shape and i'm using green on green polar bear on snow that's why you can't see it let's use let's use blue all right here we go let's go with the blue uh, and there's all these curves but uh, this shape here is going to help that one right there it's like two squares put together it's really close to two squares so this is the ratio and let's see how close it is to two squares so uh, well 
I think it's right here's the center. I'm eyeballing it. Well, actually, I'm, I'm I have the guides of the uh, hands below. All right, so let's see. Uh, let's touch the. There it is. Ooh, I was off just slightly, or maybe this needs to be moved over a little bit. There it is. Oh yeah, that's the middle. Okay, and it's like two squares. So let's get this one. Oh, I don't know if I can turn it. No, no I can't. Uh, but yeah, it looks really close, like two squares. So we're looking at these two squares here, and then you can see the the uh, the the shape up there of the fingers. All right, and see how it goes there. And uh, there's curves on there, but um, you know you can see that these these points here will help. Oh, with that, that's my mom. What does my mom want? <laughs> she forgets. Hello. it's my mama <laughs> all right so look at look at the tips here you can see that that whole other shape there and this here too how this one goes a little higher oh, i lost my annotation tools there we go there we go yeah, right there it's the middle fingers are a little higher and then here this comes down to and you can see the swoop that the swoop that curve uh, i don't know what else will to help I can add a straight line here. Look, it does come down straight and then it swoops back. And that kind of helps. All right, so we got two squares and then we've got the um, that heart in the middle and a lot of curves. Don't let the curves confuse you. Um, and then uh, oh, another thing to to look at here is this, um, and it's an oval shape. I can't can't do that. If I oval so only goes straight up and down, but it's really like an oval two circles here if we connected them. And you can see that oval shape there. Oh, let's bring this one down a little bit smaller. There we go. And if I were to connect them oh, really quick, yeah, you can see there it is. And it goes behind. It goes behind that shape. It goes behind. All right. So here we go. I'm going to start off with two squares just like that and then just I'll put it in. Um, here we go. Let's do this. There's our turtle. Bye, turtle. Yeah, feel free to draw. You know, if you don't want to draw these hands, that's okay. Hands are tough, but uh, we're going to start off with these two squares. So we'll see. Um, start off with my horizon line, horizontal line, and then bring that center line. Let's get that center line in the middle. And then think about how wide I want to do these hands. Well, let's see. Are we, are we centered on our screen? Yeah, there we go. We should probably zoom in. There we go. That's nice. That's better. Oh, is Lou here? Oh, man. We could have screenshotted that and had that submitted as well. That would have been a good one. Yeah. I, I, once I I close my screen, I lose my, uh, my guidelines. So I'm actually working from memory a little bit. I just wanted to say that you can also see the the pictures on the um, on the meetup um, site. Yeah, the pictures are in the- I pulled up the pic, you know, I have all the pictures now. Great, great, great. From the meetup yeah. website. Yeah, the pictures are the meetup website. The thing is- um, Go to the meetup, you know, you click on the meetup group and then you can see all the pictures. Yeah, but my guidelines are not there. My guidelines, the guidelines- Right, are right. Yeah. All right. So we've got our two squares. Also, Eladio, when you were saying there were two squares, I was thinking, wait a second, two squares equals a rectangle. Yeah. But, but you meant um, you're talking about the space that it takes that it takes up. So it's taking up this, each square is taking up its own space. Yeah, and that's the ratios. That's what you want to look. At. I wasn't looking. At, I was looking at whatever. I was looking at the at the photograph, and then. Um, I was listening to you and, and I hear you saying that. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. And this helps with ratios, right? So we're looking at the ratio, the height compared to the width. And um, it, it is it is uh, two squares. 
um, and then that's where we're going to fit that. Um, and then the fingers kind of fit. They don't go, they, they go about half ways. I think it was a little bit less, but um, about halfway at the top. So if we do put like two, two more squares at the top uh, of the sides, this is where the fingers are kind of, kind of go right in, in there, the, the fingers that are, that are sticking up right in there. So they kind of go right about there. So hands are tough. Hands are tough. So um, especially these with curvy, curvy fingers. All right, so um, let's get into uh, drawing the circles that are in here. There's going to be one right about there, and they're more of an oval shape. So um, I don't know how can we break that down. Uh, definitely watch the spacing because it's uh, get the top of the circle and the bottom of the circle, and then a uh, circle on this side. And there it is, sketching it in. Sketching it in. And the, actually, it's kind of like resting on this middle, the middle of the square. You can see the middle of the square. And those two circles are kind of resting on that middle of that square. That's what's happening. See the position, see how it's all, how it relates. Every drawing is a puzzle, seeing all the shapes, seeing how the shapes fit and putting the shapes together. All right, here we go. So we're going to, um, let's go ahead and uh, stretch this out. Even though, yeah, these, these circles are going to stretch them out and probably make them a little bit wider. So that's just our guide to start off with. And so I'll go ahead and why don't I stop for a second? Make sure you have that before I, I move forward and draw draw the rest of the, draw the heart. We're going to get the heart in there first. We're going to get to the heart of the matter. And then we'll draw the, the, the hands and the, the rest of the stuff. All right, because we've got our spacing. We can actually, yeah. Well, there's going to be the, the little puffs that are going to be the hands coming out on the sides as well. All right, let's get the heart in here. Okay, so we've got there. We're going to come and we're going to um, try to still keep it rounded, rounded and aim for that part right there, that, that center. And then come around here and attach it to that circle. All right, so there's our two, that V shape right there. That is the way it attaches it to it. So the circle. Then that gives us that rounded shape. And then we're going to bring it down, bring it down around town, open it up a little bit more, and right there, that heart shape. Right there, down to a point, and go up and up to uh, that circle shape. We're kind of attaching it to that circle shape where this oval now, we're going to make it a little bit bigger seeing that that shape in space all right we'll probably maybe bring it in slightly and you can adjust it make your heart because this is actually the whole uh, the heart of the the drawing he's he's just doing that whole kind of like oh i can't get my fingers to do that <laughs> that whole heart like that there you go and that's the inside that's the negative space the negative space so look at um, here, this kind of helps uh, this up here. And you can see the triangles. These two triangles should be kind of the same. The distance should be the same. You have to adjust. You can actually make the lines thicker. Like here, I can make this line thicker, bring it in thicker. Because they, they're pretty thick lines. These are, lines are pretty thick. Beginning students always have trouble getting those thick lines. The thickness of the line. All right, here we go. I kind of like that heart. Let's erase all our guides. Yeah, there there's our heart, and uh, and then let's do the rest. All right, so we're gonna um, start off with the pointer finger. It does come up and around and and down here. There we go. So we're gonna go from here, probably the middle of the top square right here, the square right there, that small square. Go from here, bring it down. And around that's our finger. Now, what we're looking at is this tapering. Make sure it tapers as it comes to the point and needs to taper. So each piece right here is a little bit wider as it comes up, and then probably around in here it stays the same. Right? So it tapers, it's a taper as it goes out. All right. And there's a little bit of a on the bottom, it does come out on the inside like that. That's the finger, that's the positive space. The heart is in the negative space. All right, there's that. So we got one finger down, 
one down, eight, uh, seven to go, seven to go. Here we go. All right, so we got this uh, finger that comes up here. Let's we'll start with the left hand. Um, it comes from right about here and it shoots up to the this point right there. I would say that point right in there. And it comes down. Right in there, kind of like that. Like, and it also tapers. It also tapers. There's a little bit of a knuckle right there. A knuckle going above our square down here. Then it goes up and it tapers. And like a banana or a half moon or, you know, you use your imagination. It's the greatest nation. And it really helps with your drawing. There it is. And then we've got um, the other one. Let's start. start I think I'm going to bring this finger up a little bit. The middle finger up here. Because it does kind of go up and then down. Those angles. So right in the middle. That middle finger. And then this other finger is going to come out. Uh, out there like that like a little yeah, there we go there's that shape all right so let's get this middle finger it's going to start here goes up to that point with a slight curve and it tapers down like that there we go i almost did it like really quick Man, there it is. there's our second finger two down three down actually three down three and a half I'll probably say four, half and a half. Oh, these numbers. Yeah, don't let the numbers, uh, you know, I, you know, it's in drawings too. It's like, ah, your brain sh actually shuts down, shuts off. So you might have noticed like, oh, like when you get difficult, but that's where the learning is. Your brain's trying to, and the brain doesn't like to struggle. So you got to fight it sometimes. If you want to learn math, if you want to learn things, how to draw, a little bit of fighting. You got that little warrior in you, a little hero. Especially if you got a purpose, you know why you're drawing. Oh, I want it. I want to do this. I want to do that. When you have that purpose. The purpose will get you your why. Your strong enough why will get you through the what and the how, and the hard parts. And there's three fingers. You can see how they spread out. They're up on top in that space. All right. Now we got to get the fingers on the other side and get them to match up. See, I can just really quickly get a horizontal line in there but these three fingers look good um another little knuckle right here there's another little knuckle we'll bring it brings it out and then down a little bit of a rounded thing there there right about there and this is where that hand comes out right in there and then right out of that corner this thickness here we got to remember it because that's we want it on the other side as well got to get things to line up you got to get it symmetrical. This is magical. It's symmetrical. And then there's a, these little wrinkles that are inside here as well. There's one more. Let's get it in there. And the lines are pretty thick. Notice the thickness of this line. It's really thick, which is great because it helps hide our, our little mistakes, our little happy accidents. Just thicken up the lines, thicken up them up. It gives it character. Like a cartoon, like a like a comic book, not comic book, uh, coloring book. There you go. That's that's the book I wanted. That's the ticket. <laughs> All right. Uh, here, this bottom thumb. Before we go to the other hand, this bottom thumb actually. Hmm. We're gonna bring this this down a little bit more. Yeah, I think. Uh, let's see. If, oh, well, it's it's not that thick here, but now I, I I'm looking at it, and it's uh it should probably be yeah that heart shape. I'm not happy with it. It's all right. We'll just, just kind of, sometimes you got to be happy with the way things turn out, but push it down a little bit. And then we have the, the thumb. This thumb goes here, straight across, and then curves down. There we go. That's it. Right in there. And here, this because it's below, it's uh, this is almost like a shadow or, or thickness. Cartoon or uh, cartoonists do it, and um, comic books and cartoons, you'll see that certain the, the weight of a line is darker, thicker. And these, these are fun to do with a brush. Uh, when you have a brush, it's almost it's calligraphy here. So when you go thin, 
thin side of a brush. And then here, when you go sideways this way, you get a thicker line. When you go in between both, you can go get a thick and thin line at the same time where it goes thin, like at this point, and then it thickens up as, as it goes through. You get a really nice flow, flow of line. The flow, you go with the flow. All right, there's one hand down. I'm going to go ahead and do the um, this little area in here. I'm going to try to get that that um, see that oval shape of where the sleeve is going to go. Then it curves out from there. I don't worry about all the detail in here. I just seen the space that that whole detail. There's a lot of little circles that are in there. I don't see those. I see this big shape. That's the structure. That's the structure that you want. You want to see these big shapes. The detail goes last. Detail goes last. So you want to see the structure, and then, and then the detail goes last. Like the tail on a donkey. The detail. All right, here we go. Detail goes last. All right, let's just do the opposite. This finger here goes up. up. Let's go up and uh, over on our, our square here, our guide. There we go. Let's clean this up. Oops. There he is. I'm going to make it look more like a heart. You can go in there, thicken it up. Yeah, thicken it up a little bit. Try to get that heart shape. Because that's the point. It's in that negative space. Which is ironic. Isn't it? Don't you think? All right, here we go. Let's get the uh, three fingers, three fingers salute. There we go. So we got one, uh, just like that one. It's going to go right here. The other one up here, catching up. See how it lines up with that line that I guide. It's going to go there, and the other one is going to we'll bring it back there. So let's get this this finger here and swoop it in right below, right there. There we go. Swoop it in. So it comes up and then it swoops back a little higher, swoop it back and make sure it tapers as it gets thicker. This shape right here, the shape gets wider. We're looking at the shape as we're drawing this line. And then the knuckle, the knuckle comes in. Right in there's a little bit of a curve right there. And then the next knuckle comes out and the next knuckle lines up with this one but there's a gap there's a space here see that space here it's empty but it, it lines up right in here it's part of this finger here this is pretty cool it's it's uh implied it's an implied line right there they don't draw it completely they just kind of say it continues from here and it comes down we went a little bit wider as it comes down oh and then here make sure it lines up make sure the hands line up here so this is going to come out here it looks like a 45 degree angle to this these lines here this whole square if i were to put a square in here square a little square dance 45 degree angle of these uh the wrists that are there it's coming along coming along 717 it did start early we're here two nights. People aren't sharing as much. Got to share, share. We don't record the sharing, so just to let you know, we do record the drawings as we draw. Or if you share afterwards while we're recording. But right now we are recording. All right, here we go. Um, so this is the point of this finger up here. I know where it's going to go, where I'm going to aim, and I know where this finger is going to go. And I'm going to aim right about there. So it matches the one on the left. Let's see. I'm going to get this straight line, line up. Yeah, we already have the squares. All right. Just uh, like a knife through butter. Just sweep it in. Oh, there it is. There's one finger. Get that thickness. Bring it down. And it rests right in that spot. A little peace sign. Two fingers. Just like that. Together. See those two fingers. See where it starts, where it stops, how it flows. 
there's a lot of flow, really nice flow with this uh, drawing. And then now it, let's do that pinky, the last pinky. There we go, almost down with the fingers. There we go, put it in right there, just like that. That's it. There's that finger. He's a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as batty as a fruitcake, Mr. Grinch. All right, here we go. It tapers. It comes up this thumb, the last finger. We're going to do it tapers, and it comes around up here, right in there. Bam. And it flows. It flows. It has a taper. It's almost like a tapered tail. It is a tapered tail. Where's that other side? Yeah, it's a tapered tail. It's almost like a tapered S, S shape. All right. Let's get to the, the little sleeves. The green sleeves. Uh, green sleeves. Isn't that a song? There we go. All right, so I've got this square. I've got the wrist in there. I'm, I'm trying to get the, the shape and the, the, the placement of the, um, what is that called? That sleeve part, the little white part that goes there. And then uh, this comes out like right in there, kind of like, yeah, oops, bring it up. Oh, it's not lining up. And that's a good thing to do. You can turn your drawing upside down. I can already see this one's it's not lining up. This one's a little higher. And they really should match up. So let's get that a little bit lower on this side. There we go. See how it matches up. We're checking because it is symmetrical. I mean, you got to check, um, check it. We got our axis line right down the middle. And you got to, we got our two squares. That really helped with the symmetrical drawing. People are going to, you know, always one side is bigger than the other. But starting off with those two squares, it really helps really helps yeah because uh we'll wait till we get to the bottle we've got that bottle we're going to be drawing tonight yep 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 all right I'd rather have a bottle in front of me than have to have a frontal love bottom me here we go all right so now now this oval shape is broken up into all kinds of circles there's one here this is the fun part one there one right here there's another one over here another circle there Another one right about there. Another circle over here, about that big. Another circle right about here. And then another circle there. And then another one right in there. Get it to fit. All right, those are all the circles. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight circles in that space. All right, see those eight circles? Now, all we need to do is just connect those circles. Ooh, there's some on the inside. Oh, won't we'll worry about those yet. Let's do the outside ones first. So uh, we just take a ride along the outside. Take a ride along the outside. Here we go. Ooh. There's one, two, and there's overlapping. I think this one goes in front. So you see how how uh, this one here, this one goes in front yeah. of that. It goes in front. All right. There's a little bit of overlap. This goes in front because it is in front. And then here we go there. Let's go around again. And around. We're going to be speeding up our next drawing. I'm going to go a little faster. Here, bring this out. See, this one sticks out right here. And then this goes behind. Right there. Maybe start speeding the drawings up a little bit. Get more drawings. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Oof. Something, something's a little fishy. It's all right. Not a big deal. All right. Get that sleeve. Put that sleeve in here. And then the inside part. The inside part is part of those circles as well. I think this one kind of goes with that first one. You kind of skip that second one and kind of this echoes this this uh, other one over here. And then this one kind of echoes a small one. Actually, it doesn't really even coincide with the outside one because it goes one small one. And then it goes like another one here. 
There you go, something like that. And then it goes thicker here because we have that thick line. Let's thicken that up as it comes in here. And I think I went too far. This shot probably should have been a little bit, yeah, a little bit lower right here space-wise. Looking at the space should probably be a little bit lower to get a little more accurate, but eh, it's all right. We can erase it or we can leave it. Sometimes you want to practice your drawing, not your erasing. But I can see them. I can see there should have probably been more space there. Let's check it on the other side. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's right about there. That that feels about okay. All right. That's going to go right there. Okay. We got our oval in here on this other side. Let's get the um, those circles in there. We got our first one, a big one right here, on the top. And we got another one right in here. Another circle. Another circle here. One, two, and then we've got another one. If you need to make it bigger, make it bigger. Another one right about here. If you need to make it smaller, make it smaller. One at the bottom. This one right at the bottom, right in there. Then two more. One here and another one there. There's our circles. Some of them I did half circles. I'm speeding it up a little bit. Starting to speed it up. See if you can catch up. All right, let's do this. There we go. Around the outside. Around the outside. There we go. Around the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside. No, make the circle. They were just there as guides. We probably need to go a little bit bigger, a little bit wider here, especially this one. There it is. Okay. Go. Here. All right, and then again, on this side, this is thick. This line is thick. It has some heavy weight right underneath. This line is thick. This one as well, the way it goes thick and thin. Actually, it should be thicker than what I've got. Then I would complain to my students, no, that line needs to go thicker. <laughs> yeah, it needs to go thicker. And there we go. And then we've got... Um, yeah, I'm trying to clean this hard up. we got the inside little wrinkles of the hand. There's one right here. Comes down. And then another one at the top. There's two. They kind of like go off of the uh, finger there. All right, we're almost done. This one would look nice in color. So if you have colors, colored pencils, bring them out. A little bit of, I think I have a light green here. There's my light green. I'll give you some time to, to draw, catch up. Ooh, where's my sharpener? I was using it. Mm -mm. Oh, that's not going to help. Well, here it is. Right. Start from the saw. That's, a, that's right. You got to practice, practice, practice. That's important. It's like sharpening the saw. You know, you want to, uh, you want to, the warrior, the warrior sweats in training so he doesn't bleed in battle. Right, so this whole thing, sweat during training, got to work hard, sweat. Also, uh, yeah, that's not a bright green. I would probably add a little bit of yellow underneath it to really get a little bit more intense. But it's not the same value. It's just a little bit on the gray side. But it's a good exercise to get uh, shading, to get... Uh, that back and forth really quick and if you shade like this it'll get it smoother once you work down that edge there it is Green, yellow. Oh. center center gotta be centered Yeah, it'd be better. This this one doesn't give me a, 
steep enough. Well, it's too steep. The point is, so if I had more lead, I can actually shade a little bit faster. All right. Well, we'll leave it up to you. Uh, let's see. I'll just do it really quick. Oh, I didn't finish that inside part. Where's this inside part? We're missing. Missing that inside part. All right, let's do this inside part. Uh, we've got one little bubble, two little bubbles. It's almost like three, just three. And then uh, fourth one, the fourth one is that, that, that thick one that goes in here. See that thick one? And then it just closes all this up. Let's go backwards. I'm going up. Just back one, two, three. There it is. There's the hands and the heart. There it is. Oh, that's it. Looks pretty good. I think I uh, just need to get that uh, red. Huh. Pink. Red. Red in the house. Okay, red marker. Ah, red marker. The red marker save the day. Here we go. The red marker. Just color this in. There we go. Just to have a little bit of color. Again, this is just the icing on the cake. You learn about color later. You learn about shading later. But you can practice it. You can try it. I mean, there's a lot to learn. You want to learn one thing at a time and focus on it and improve upon it. Then build on it. As as we get our course going, ah, the course, the course. I'm actually even thinking of um, just doing a lot of these recordings without anybody here. And just me doing the recordings and then just posting them. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. All right. There it is. Ta -da. All right. Next one. It's 7.30. All right, one more. And I think if you want to share, share my screen, and then we'll share your drawings if you'd like. All right, here we go. We've got, what's next? Oh, yeah, we got a candle. I think we can simplify this one and, and make it a sketch, a really quick sketch. It looks like a lot of stuff going on. There is. We're going to, I'm going to draw this pretty quick. That one, and then the bells. I think the bell was next. Yeah, those bells. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. We're, we'll do those. So let's get this in the chat. Right click, copy image. I'm not going to break it down, uh, but I'll, actually I'll talk about it a little bit. Image address, put it in the chat. All right, 22 here. There we go. Paste. All right, so there's the squares. Yeah, might as well. Here's a square. You got to see the square. The height and the width. This is important right here. So you can see this uh, ratio, ratio, ratio. Ratio, so we talk about ratios, angles, proportions. So there's one square. And here we go, two squares again. Anybody remember four square? Yeah, four square, play that game. Yeah, there it is, look at, there's our ratio. There's our ratio again, two squares. And this is gonna help, this is gonna help um, get for accuracy. So you see those two squares and then you see this uh, circle here, right there, Paul. See, look, notice the height and the width. There's that circle there. And kind of the same thing on this other side. I mean, you can see, I don't know, you can see a triangle or however, but um, that, that whole space. I won't do that. <laughs> Gosh, yeah, the imagination. All right, so let's just do straight lines. But you can see, um, and then see these angles here now. So you kind of see this uh, triangle. If you see a triangle, that, that helps too. All right, you can see that as a triangle. And see how far it goes. All right, now we see the big shapes, and this is going to help us with our accuracy. So if somebody can screenshot that and then post it up in the chat, if you'd like, that would be great. That would help everybody. Now, here we go. Let's jump on in. Bam. The, jump on in. The weather's fine. So here we go. So we've got our two squares. Everybody knows what a square is. There it is. There's the width. There's one square. This is the ratio. And the angles We've got uh, vertical and horizontal angles, nothing complex. There's one square, two squares. That's the ratio. See, that's getting accuracy. Then we had a circle right in here, a circle right in there. And then we had a triangle kind of uh, come up 
right in here. The coyotes, coyotes are, they know the rain is coming. And then right in here, we have another circle of circles right in here, about that big. I mean, I, I didn't break it down, but all this stuff is the same thing. You just break it down in further and further. You subdivide um, all the parts. It's trying to see the big parts first. Then the candle at the top, it's got that, the, 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 the flame at the top there. And this is kind of the, the layout, pretty much. That's the layout. That's the lay of the land. We got our two squares. That's going to help. And then we've got a circle right in there. We've got this other circle of shapes. And that's it. All right. So I'm going to do this really quick. Um, try to uh, <laughs> try to catch up. All right. So we're going to start from the top. And uh, even though I just drew this as an oval, we can we can push and pull this. It comes to a point, and it, it's it's a tapered. It's another tapered shape. So it kind of comes out this way, right? That curve, and then it tapers that curve again, and it kind of comes out and back like that. See, it's a tapered shape. Tapered shapes are fun to see and find, like a ponytail. A little girl's hair or a ponytail on a pony. That tapered shape. There we go. And put the wick, a little John Wick right there. That's it. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. There we go. We're going to draw faster and faster. All right. So then here, the top actually of, the, of this candle is an oval shape. There's an oval shape. But it's not a perfect oval. It's kind of, I don't know, they have it like a hot dog. I would, I would um, you know, give it a little more point. And there's a little bit of a drip at that tip, at that side right there. It's not a perfect oval. There it is. There it is. There's a little bit of a dent. And then we've got our um, our wax kind of coming down, kind of dripping right there, coming around. Another drip on this side, that whole top. There we go. There's our top drip. Let me get the sides in, put the sides in, and then uh, put these uh, these little designs, or I don't, I don't think they're drips, uh, little designs. Putting them down. There's one. And here's the other one. It gets closer, it gets further away, it gets closer. That goes parallel, actually, for a little bit. Well, there it is. And this is where if you haven't done blind contour drawing, you got to do your blind contour drawing. Your blind contour drawing will help uh, with something like this. Because you're then you're because really just looking at your what you're drawing, you're observing, but you're not really looking at your paper. There it is. Oh, there's our two little little lines of designs. Now this is where it gets wicked. This is where it gets wicked. There's a lot of stuff happening here. There's a lot of stuff happening. So uh, let's uh, let's see. All right. So that's, that's the candles done. Here we have a circle of circles right about in there. Right. So I can see the space where it's at. And uh, I don't know. There's like five circles. Actually, there's three. Oh, I can actually uh, I can see a pattern. See this pattern right there. There's a pattern of three there, and then a pattern of two on top of that. Yeah, you got to see the patterns. Uh, pattern of three. Up there. Actually, pattern of four. And there's three on top. Three on top and then four in the middle. And then another two at the, below that. One, two. That's pretty good. Right in there. I'm happy. I just sketched them out. It's about the size. Maybe a little bit bigger. Now I can go in there and go darker. There's one. Here's two, a little bit smaller, right in there, two. And there's three. There's uh, a little bit of overlapping. This one's probably beneath, underneath, uh, behind that other one. A little bit of overlapping. And the size change, too. And this next one, about the same size. This next one bigger. This one's bigger. And then this one's even bigger. This is a 
you know, are they grapes or well, who knows? Not enough detail. Oh, holly. I think it's holly. These are holly berries. Holly berry. <laughs> no jokes. Halle berry. She was getting into trouble and uh, I don't know, I guess she's driving too fast in Beverly Hills. She was driving like Hal. Halle Berry. Or she was driving Berry. She was driving Berry bad. I don't know. There were some comedians that was, or somebody on the radio was making fun of her. See, I just adjusted that one. This one, I'm going to have to adjust it to close this up here. I moved it. Let's see. My, I used that as my guide, but I, I readjusted. I'm flexible. I'm adaptable. Sometimes you got to adapt. All right, here we go. Let's get this next leaf that goes in here. A leaf is, is like an oval shape, like in here, like this. There's that oval shape. I can see that's going to be there. There's one. Let's break it down. There's one oval shape or like a football shape. There's one behind it right in there. Then there's, a, I guess, right in here is the, uh, the shape of a uh, Pine, pine needles, that's what it is, or pine needles. That's it, that's the ticket. This one probably a little bit bigger now that I'm adjusting. Oh, and back in here, there's more little circles or rocks, or I don't know what they are back in there, about in that space. And then in here is another leaf, holly leaf. And then we've got another one sticking out right in here, right about there. And then we've got this other one. These are pine needles, more pine needles right in there. See, those are the shapes. And I'm just kind of like blocking it in real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Seeing how it feels. Got my circle. And then I'm putting that on top. All right. And then I just draw it. I usually go left to right, but uh, I don't know. We're going, we're feeling the, the right side first. And let's get close. Let's draw this first. Now this is, um, it's got three points. One, two, three on one side and three points on the other. One two, three, and then the, the point point right at the tip. All right, so here we go. I, I did my points. Then we just uh, loop the loop between them. Here we go. Start actually from here at the base. Go up, swoop to that point, bing, uh, swoop down, bing, bing, bing to that point. That's the top. Let's do the bottom, three points. Boom, aim for those points. If you don't, <laughs> if you off a little bit, that's okay. There's that other point. And then this last one swoops a little bit longer. There it is. Oh, there it is. And then there's the center line. There's a little bit of a swoop as well as we aim for that tip. There it is. Oh, I, I think I straightened it out a little bit too much. That's okay. Got that swoop. Nice. If you didn't, it's okay. All right, here we go. Let's start our first fern leaf, our first little um, pine, pine leaves. Uh, let's get that center line. Getting that center line right in there, that center line, and then everything else kind of just goes out from from it, like right in there. The spacing and all that stuff. I know that's uh, something you almost have to get the feel for. Uh, I'm not going to break it down. I'm just going to do it. So here we go. We're going to do the the center, and it does go open wide, open wide. There's one, and then now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fill it in. I'm just going to fill it in so just with, at this angle. Notice this angle here, this angle of these pine cones. That's important. And then just, I'm just going to fill it in that space kind of like all the way. Uh, the last two kind of like really just um, go up like that. There you go. There's one, two. Let's open it up a little bit more too. This is actually, we should be a little bit more open. Let's see. Slightly more open. Notice the angle. So they, they come in like a V. Like a V. And this is behind this holly, right? This leaf. So try to get it behind as it comes down. There it is. There's our first little pine needles. Here comes, ooh, I should have done this one first because this is in front of that one. Oops. 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 All right. <sighs> We'll just do three real quick. Comes up one. I'm gonna cover it with a thick line right there because it oh it goes over. I, I did a boo boo. One, two, three, and then four to the tip. Let's do the other side. The other side just has two coming back. One, two, 
And once you get the the feel of this, you know, you can doesn't have to be exact, and you can actually draw your own. Um, there's overlapping here. This is in front. This is behind. It's a lot of interesting things happening here. All right, let's just draw it. Let's just do this. All right, I'm not I'll do my points. One there, two, three, and then the point that's going there, and then another three below. One, two, three. Those are my points. Let's connect the dots. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There it is. The center line, let's get this one to swoop up. A little bit of a swoop. Let's do the, the little rocks behind here. More little holly, hollyhocks. One, two, three. This one's on top. And then there's one hiding behind. So this one, the one that's hiding behind, you just put it behind there. Just like that. squeeze it in. So I'm just squeezing it in, close things up. Get it to look the best you can. There it is. Happy holidays. Oh my gosh. It's time just flying, flying. And then one week, one week exactly. I've always uh, when I first discovered, <laughs> when I first realized that. New Year's Day is exactly one week after uh, Christmas Day. Interesting. So if it falls on a Sunday, it falls on a Sunday. It falls on a Monday, it falls on a Monday. Fascinating. Patterns. Seeing patterns. But like they say, you know, uh, co correlation. What? Ah. Ah, there's a saying. Correlation doesn't mean causation. Ah, that's what it is. There's a pattern. Correlation doesn't mean causation. They teach that in college. <laughs> All right. So um, here we have one more leaf that's going to be in here. Let me see. Let me see. Try to get the shape. Well, there's going to be one here. One here. Let's try to see the big shapes. One, the big one. Oh, Elizabeth, the big one right here. This is the big one right in there. There's that one. There's another one. This one, this is the, uh, this is where the, some more pine needles. This one curves a little bit. Those pine needles right there, um, right about there. And then here we have a whole bunch of more little holly, holly seeds or whatever they are. Fruit, I would say fruit. We got another leaf coming up right in there. And then we got our last. And I think I'm going to pull this one up. I don't know how I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to pull it up more, but that's kind of where it goes the um, leaf of uh, pine needles right in there. All right, there we go. That's pretty good. Let's zoom out real quick because I'm like all over the place. There it is. That, that's looking pretty good. We still got this left side, the right side to do. I'm already jumping to the, to the left, to the left, to the left. All right, I've got to finish up the right side here. Well, actually, well, why don't we go from left to right? I like going from left to right. And if you do, sometimes you need to get another sheet of paper and put it on top so you don't smudge. You don't smudge the work. That's why I like working from left to right. You got to think about what you're doing before you do it. There's a sequence. There's a process. What goes first? What goes second? Sometimes you mess up and like, oh, I should have done this first. I should have done that first. And uh, well, that's how you learn. Especially you do it over and over, you'll 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 see yourself making the same mistakes. Like, okay, gotta learn, gotta learn this first, then that, then this, then this, then that. All right, so here let's go left to right. I'll try not to smudge my drawing that's already there. Let's zoom in as well. Before I post uh, photos for next week, are there any requests for subjects, people? Alan, our our picture poster. Uh, if you have any requests, put them in the chat. Ellen will look for stuff. She's been posting our pictures. She found these candles and bells and, and whistles and all this stuff. Yeah, I, you know, really should be something you trying to draw. I'm struggling. And you should try to draw the drawings before we draw them. You know, you might even do a better job <laughs> than, than me uh, breaking it down. And you've got to break it down yourself. Break it down, break it down. The big shapes, we do it all the same. Ratios, ratios, angles, proportions, practice. We go from big shapes to small shapes. That's the process. All right. 
background to foreground usually oh no foreground to background depends on if you're painting or not sometimes i, I like drawing from foreground to background because then you can draw stuff behind draw the stuff in front and then draw the stuff behind and sometimes you go big to small that's also the thing all right so i'm gonna uh, uh, <laughs> we're just going all out of order here so let's draw this leaf here let's get the points oh this one has more than three points this one has four or five let me see one two three four five it has five points plus the tip wow and they're they're right about here here's one two three four and five and then the tip over here all right cool and then it curves the center line so this is the center of our leaf comes here to that one like that boom seeing where it starts and then where i'm aiming and there it is. I'll talk to for a second, like sharpening the shaw, saw, shaw, sharpening the saw. It's one of the ha, one. It's like we begin with the end of mind. That's one of the habits, and then sharpening the saw. That's the the habit of practice and the habit of of um, you know sharpening the saw, sweating during training, because if you sweat during training, the more you sweat in training, the less you bleed in battle. You sketchbook warriors and sketchbook heroes that take on these challenges. As I pick up the speed here, just draw really quickly. Let's just draw. Let me see. Oh, well, I was going to just do it. Nah, let's just do it. <laughs> I'm going to fit it in. I didn't even do the points. Just getting it to see how it feels and where it fits. Let me see if I got it right. Let me see if I got that many points. One, two, three, four. Is it four on the side? One, two, three, four. It is four. There it is. See? Oh, without doing the points. Let's keep going. All right. We have another one up in here. Let's do this leaf. I should try to go front to back. Let's go this one. All right. It is that. That's the space. And we've got three again. One, two, three. And then the point. And then on the other side, one, two, three. That's it. Let's do it. One, two three the, the last one's a little wider one two three and the last one a little bit wider and then uh, there's overlapping this goes behind that's all right and then we've got the um the center line get that center line in there all right let's speed it up a little more this is one, two, three, and it comes back right in there, that space. Let's see where it is. That space. There's that one. Oh, this one here now. This is this is uh, I'm trying to get that center line. It goes from here out that way, like this. This is more pine needles. And let's just put the pine needles on there. Here we go. One. If you want to get the angles in here first, you can sketch them in lightly as a guide, and then just go in there, put them, and you've got all these guides, lines underneath, and just put it on top. Trust yourself. You've got to believe. Believe you can do this. Even if it's not perfect, it's okay. It's not perfect. It's just a sketch. If you want it to be exact, then we can, yeah, we can take more time and but uh, you know how exact how precise precision is good but sometimes you don't have to do it like perfect it slows you down well it's a little bit of both you gotta go fast gotta go slow like here uh there's the circles are on top so i'm gonna overlap that there you see i just went overlap that one problem solving there we go so it goes on top observing another circle on top of that one Another circle on the side. There we go. Another circle right there. All little shapes. Ooh, this one's on top right in there. There's one right there. One behind it right about there. I'm not sketching them in. I'm just drawing them straight. There it is. If I sketched them in lightly, then I'd be able to make changes if I had to. But uh, they went pretty good. No, no major, major faux pas mistakes all right here we go another holly leaf right here here's the center line a little bit of a curve and three more points again one two three and, and they're not really ovals this one almost goes to a point and then comes down 
then this one curves up a little more and then here it goes to a point bring that point back and then to echo that shoe three four shut the door connections that's what it's about you want to make connections that helps you learn that's why i came up with rap to draw to help you learn to draw you look at ratios first look at the ratios of the shapes it's all about shapes ratios then you look for angles then you look for proportions how big something is compared to something else how big is that candle compared to all the leaves around it that's proportions try not to blow things out of proportion or or under proportion stuff but you can also go the opposite way it's all relative as einstein says it's all relative it's all relative it all depends all right i just blocked it in the angles now i can go in there and get these pine pine shapes in there i don't know if i posted tuesday's uh class i gotta double check i'll post it tomorrow i think i did sometimes things just go so fast where i'm just uh going on autopilot which is a good and bad thing i do want to uh make sure i get into good habits good habits good habits hey uh, we're almost done all right so uh we've got uh before okay no requests i don't see any requests requests for next week uh a new i did get one direct to me oh you did oh okay great a new year's baby maybe <laughs> uh, be, request seen... for what waters with changing season Ooh, waters changing season nice and thank you for doing that appreciate that that's good i really want people to say oh this is what i want to draw it really should come from you it really should be something like oh i want this is what i want i want to draw like this and you aim for it and shoot for this target we don't hit it you know we just we just aim for it and that's our intention all right we've we got... did that and i was posted and we do nothing but cartoons <laughs> that's great sure i mean if you're the only one posting well, that's we need to get more posts and then that way we can okay i'll do two from you and two from somebody else and and uh, i don't know somebody said they we're going to post a picture there oh we had somebody accidentally post their face and we drew their that face <laughs> Is she here tonight? I thought I saw her name. I thought she signed up for the class. That's cool. All right, so we got two more leaves. We got actually uh, these pine cone leaves, pine leaves, and then we've got uh, one more holly, holly leaf there. Let's do the uh, pine ones first. Get the center coming out from here, from this circle, out like that, right about there in that space. You got to see the big shapes, and you got to you know go into details. You should be able to kind of like zoom in, zoom out. Let's see these it's it's like zooming in zooming out seeing the big shapes and then break being able to break it down seeing the parts in the hole and the hole in the parts and the hall <laughs> and all the holy parts there we go there we go so we go uh, then i just go in there and get those little pine cones back and forth there we go get to fit in that space behind and there we go back and forth Oh, yeah. And then once you start playing with other materials, like with ink, imagine inking this thing in or sending it out as a gift card, like personalized, then a little bit of watercolor on it. And we're just sketching, but you can take this to the next level. The next level. All the icing on the cake. I'm just doing this uh, back and forth, just getting it to fill in there. And this one has a little bit of a curve curvy s -y kind of thing happening here did i get it oh close enough goes down back and forth there we go ah ta -da. oh that'd be nice to color there we go you make your own coloring books like somebody uh one of our i don't like to name, mention names if you're not saying your name but uh somebody mentioned the, they're doing coloring books for for somebody that's awesome awesome fun 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 boom, boom, boom. Ah, that looks good should we do the bells? It's going to be eight o'clock. So, uh, whoop, whoop, damn, time flies. All right. So, uh, we'll do the bells. I don't know if somebody wants to share. I can't find cacti. I'll find some cacti. How about some cacti? All right. Cool. Some cacti. Somebody's uh, request, requesting, requesting drawings for next week. Cacti. <laughs> uh, 
my son told me a joke today. Oh my gosh, I was laughing. I, I thought I had heard it one time, but I didn't. He caught me totally off guard. And then he did the voice, which was, <laughs> but I can't tell this joke here. And it's, uh, uh, let me see. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I'm trying to clean it up in my head, but I can't. It's, but it's funny. <laughs> Maybe I'll say it offline <laughs> if somebody requests. Somebody reminds me. So any of you hardcore heroes that are here till for another hour, I don't know if you want to share, if anybody wants to share, if we just jump along to the next, uh, or, or get a good stretch. We'll do our, the bells. Let's see, our bells are next. And then we're going to jump into, uh, oh, that Santa. Oh, I like that Santa. That Santa. Oh, and then there's the vase. We got the vase, and we got uh, Charlie Brown tree. Uh, we got some pine cones, maybe. I can, I'll probably sketch those out really quick. We have a lot of drawings here. I'll probably sketch them out really quick. Then we got the houses. I don't know if we'll get to the houses. Yeah. We'll see. I feel I can share some of this. Oh, okay, great. Yes. Let's see what you got. Raise your hand. Oh, there we go. Oh, Enoch, I see you. All right, cool. Let me see. Where is, oh, there you are. <laughs> Super cool. Here's your turtle, turtle. All right. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, <laughs> let's little mouse. I love the little mice. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. And this is the last one. The last one. Wow. Look at the texture. Oh, look at that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Christine's saying, now those are cute. Kelly's saying, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Are you not... Thank you for sharing. Awesome. All right. Anybody else? Uh, if not, we'll just, uh, we'll just uh, continue drawing. That's fine. It's good to see what other people are doing. You're not alone. Sometimes, oh my gosh, sometimes we feel alone. And and drawing drawing can be like that. You're drawing all by yourself, all by your lonesome. But it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good solitaire. All right. Let's. Uh, I guess I'll share my screen and we'll jump to. Uh, I'll show the drawings. We're gonna do. Uh, ooh, I guess we'll do. Let me see. Let me share my screen. And we'll do this real quick. Um, yeah. Here we go. We got the bells and whistles. We'll do the bells. And then um, I don't know that one, the double bells. That one has a lot of lot of uh, detail in it, but it's it's what's important is this really. If you can draw this, all you need to then just decorate it afterwards. Um, what does make this? It has form. It really has form. It's really like a, if a cylinder and a sphere and what else shape and a little bit of a of a cone got together. <laughs> I was gonna say I had a. You know, one of those, well, uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, a relationship. There we go. So, um, yeah, then uh, we'd have the shape, right? So it's really, if you can see the sphere in here, there's really a sphere in here. Then it kind of goes out as a cone, and then it goes out even more as a cone. And th that cylinder is in there a little bit as well. But the cone, that's all the cone is, really. The cone is just a pointed cylinder. A cone, ice cream cone, and here, oh, here we have a, a another sphere, and all these th spheres over here. All right, never sphere. There we go. We'll do these. Do these. You want muscles? Do these. All right, let's put this in the chat. Copy image address. I'm not gonna break it down. Let's throw it in the chat, and just I'll try to draw these really quick, and then we'll draw. Uh, there's that one. And then I'll put this one in the chat as well because I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to I'll try to draw these really quick actually I'm gonna go through this and I'm gonna draw the Santa I'll draw the Santa really quick and see if you can catch up copy image address let's throw that one in the chat as well I'm gonna do these really quick because uh, we're intermediate already we're intermediate time first hour is done if you're here then we'll do this one still this one's uh, has shading and stuff it has form I'll talk about this one. And then the Christmas tree, and the pine cones, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. So we'll see where we end up because that's the, these are the ones we'll see. Especially if we sketch them out really quick. We'll, ooh, that's going to be a fun one to do, actually. The angles on that one's really neat. That angles on that one. All right. Okay. Let's jump to it. All right. Stop sharing. Stop talking. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so let's uh, do the bells. Ah, whoa. All right, so I'm, I'm going to look. I, I see this one bell here, right? It's just kind of like the sphere. There's a, I'm using that circle. 
there's that one. And then there's this other one over here. I'm using that circle. One's uh, a little, one's on top, right? One's underneath. And then, and then they're like uh, almost uh, here's, and they taper out. Then we've got that oval. <laughs> All my videos are going to have that. Uh... Can you make yourself the main because pictures, because yes. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, right. I'm sorry. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. There we go. That's it. And then, all right, cool. All right. So I've got uh, one circle here, and then I've got my other circle, and then it tapers out. And um, yeah, I made this circle a little bit bigger, but that's okay. We can bring it smaller, but it does go underneath. This is the shape that I want, this shape right here. And then here, this is it's important to practice your ovals, practice these ovals, because um, they're everywhere. Once you have a circle, oh, that's all it is. It's a circle in space. As it tilts, you get that same oval shape, right? And then you have, oh, let's get these axis lines so you can get that sim the symmetry. I'm, I'm doing it without even, without even, oh, I got to unplug that. It always does that. Hmm. Right. Don't worry about it now. See right there. And I can see the symmetry. I can see, and this takes practice getting that symmetry. Uh, I do it like nothing, but I know it, it does take practice. And then here, now I can push this in, and then it goes out. This bell goes in, and then out. It, it wraps around that, that sphere. Pushes in, and then out. All right. And go around. There's that bell. And then it has a, another circle right in here. All right. Bring that up. Oh, okay. Close this up a little bit. Huh? There's the bell. There's the bell. Ding dong. Who is it? It's me, Dave. <laughs> Who? Dave. Dave. Dave's not here. Oh, gosh. Getting sad. There we go. <laughs> and this should wrap they have it kind of straight this is the thing i mean i don't know i would i would i would turn it to really get that uh, form this is this is next level form understanding and feeling the form drawing form live not just from flat pictures you gotta have to get you know like something like this a bottle and then try to draw it from looking at it and seeing how it changes and how it moves Right, and the, the shapes here, and you see, you can actually even see this as a circle if you're looking straight at it there, or if you look at it at different angles. Right, interesting. Draw live stuff, not just copy flat stuff. You got to do a little bit of both, but everything's flat on your screen, so it really can't help you there. All right, let's do the other bell underneath. Man, we're kind of, whoa, we're kind of, ooh, it's, it's, look at this, this angle here. See, I got this angle here, and then this is what I'm seeing right now. I'm seeing this angle here. Um, That's this axis here. This is going to help put in, put this other bell in here. See, I see this axis right, right in there, and then I can actually put that oval shape right in there. More oval shape, please, right there. There it is, right there. There's that oval shape. And then I can squeeze it underneath that sphere right there bam and right in here if we want to get that space too you can actually use your pencil bring it over say hey there it is that's how wide i want it should be the same or similar it goes in then it goes out and then that circle in any direction it will always be a circle and there it is bring that out try to get that symmetry get that axis line and that angle, see when you see shapes, shapes, all shapes have axis lines. Some of them are hard to see, or some are like, you know, especially the, the real uh, organic shapes. But the geometric shapes, this is a geometric shape, and you can really see the axis lines. It really helps you see direction, helps you see angles. There we go. Ooh, liquid gold, verbal gold. <laughs> I used to be the quiet guy, Mr. Mr. 
Mr. Introvert. All right, here we go. That circle. And then here, going back, get that little bell. All these parts have names, I'm sure. That was one thing. Oh, I love that movie. I can't remember which one it was, but it was uh, Helen Keller. One of Helen Keller's. Oh, she's amazing. Oh, my God. She was not only blind, she was deaf and mute. So, my gosh. So one of the scenes that really just like wow, and I and I it's not, it's something else too. Like I remember writing it down because it's, it's in my called notes. the miracle the miracle worker. Yeah, the miracle worker. But there's several versions of it. Yeah, well, it was a play. Um, the miracle worker was a play. Yeah. Sorry, Angela. Anyway, a... you were going to reveal the, <laughs> the reveal moment, the dramatic moment. Yes. <laughs> The dramatic moment, the dramatic moment of when she realized she realized everything had a word and it was water. And she's like, water. She was like spelling water, W-A-T-E-R, you know, and like well, water. And, it's like, and then she was like excited, like, oh, what's this called? What's that called? Everything has a name. You know, that excitement is like, wow. And that, that spark, that, that, that was just, wow. It was, it was a, a moment I'm like, wow, you know, everything has a name. And uh, yeah, she just wanted to learn she's just like a whole, she's like, wow, it's, it's, I get the chills, you know, she, uh, you know, wow, <laughs> this is how you do it. All right. So <laughs> exciting. Apparently that was one word that she knew before, um, before she became ill. Uh -huh. She had, they think she might've had um, rheumatic oh. fever or something. And then that's when she got, cause she was a normally developing kid, a oh. typically developing kid. I until see. she got sick and then everything just deteriorated but apparently she she had because she, she was a very bright little girl obviously so she <laughs> she had those connections she understood a lot of stuff so that i mean i don't know if, that's what i understood that that she that was the one word that she hit you know she had that word and yeah. then it all came back to her and then that's when she made the connection Right, right, right. Wow, that makes sense. You know, they, I just heard something um, recently that she said that being deaf was worse than being blind. That being deaf puts you in your own world totally, and she yeah. felt that that was worse than being blind. Wow. Yeah. Someone did a study in all the handicaps that the deaf, the deaf was the hardest one because people just didn't connect with you right that's that's interesting i mean I, my sight is so important to me i can't imagine i can't imagine losing any of my senses it's it is it is a, a challenge talk about a challenge i heard i heard the, uh something too you know uh, uh a good attitude uh, uh you know a good uh there was he was talking about a person with one arm a person with one arm and a great attitude will beat will beat a person with two arms and a bad attitude. Yeah, so that's that was an interesting quote I heard today. But uh, yeah, definitely if you lose a sense, you lose an arm, you lose something, it, it's, it's, you know, you got to just, wow. Sometimes it sharpens your other senses, it's, they say too. I can see that happening, but definitely got to push, push that. All right, uh, we got three leaves here, three leaves and the little circles there. I kind of blocked them in. And then you got all these little swirls and stuff. Let's just do it. Um, big circle in the middle, right in there. And then everything else around it. So here, we're gonna do this first one here, go a little bit bigger, right in there. I'm seeing how big it is compared to other stuff. Then I've got another circle in here on this side, just about the same size. I'm not sketching it in, although if you need to sketch it in, sketch it in, you know, uh, draw, draw light until it's right. And then once you, you know, you draw it light and then you see it right and then you draw, draw it darker, right? So first you draw it light until you, until it's right. And then you go darker and that helps. You know, build your confidence like you're building your confidence. You're building, okay, that's the line right there. That's the shape. I see it. Well, it's right behind here. This one's behind. Draw it light until it's right. And then you go dark. There we go. Behind there. This one's behind. 
Oops. Another one behind. Right in there. Right. I'm just drawing them in. But uh, you can draw it lightly. See right there. Get that light in there. Get this one light in there. I'm do it light now. And this light one in here. And then see, there it is. I, I, I like where they're at. If I need to make any adjustments, I can. And there we go. And that's just more practice, really. And then now I can uh, see overlapping. No, this one's touching right against it. There we go. There it is. And then this one's behind. Behind. Falling behind. There it goes behind. There. This one probably needs to be a little bigger, a little more overlap. So I'm pushing that a little bit more. There it is. All right. All right, here we go. Let's get these uh, leaves in here. Uh, three, three points. Actually, it's just two plus the point, the tip. There's one, two right in there. I can see that plus the tip. Then on this side, one, two right about there and the tip. So here we go. Let's go on this journey. Kind of curves in like that right about there. Like that. And then it curves around and up to that point and then up and around to that point. There, a little bit of a taper curves. Oh, Zachary. <laughs> I don't know why that came to my mind. Zachary Pizza up in Oakland, California. Shout out. <laughs> somebody's, there's probably somebody's going to put it in the comments when this video is on YouTube somewhere. You're going to say, hey, I've had that pizza. It's good pizza. <laughs> oh, man. Every year we go up to uh, Sacramento and we drive over to to Oakland and San Francisco to, to have some of that Zachary pizza. Oh, it's good. <laughs> wow, thinking about it. Here we go. So I see this leaf, it fits back here. I'm kind of just putting it back in, double checking everything before I draw this leaf again. See, it's good to double check. See how it's gonna fit. See what the road you're gonna go on, make a plan. You just don't go, get up and go. You gotta plan your trip, you know. What does it say? Work your plan, plan the work and then work the plan. That's it. See, there's a lot of good habits, a lot of good thinking. All right, here we go. There's one point, two points, and that's the point. Three points. Where do you draw the line? Line's the point right there. You gotta, you gotta know when to say yes, when to say no. This is where I draw the line. This is my reality. Where do you draw your line? Right here. Right here, bub. Just like that. Ooh, missed that point. That's okay. This one's right there. Oops, missed that point too. <laughs> it's okay. And this curves that way. There we go. Oh, missed a couple of the points, but it's all good. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And that's that other quote. You know, you aim for the moon. And even if you miss, you're amongst the stars. You aim high. And that's actually... um. Michelangelo had a quote like that. You know, the problem is that most people don't hit their goals. The problem is their goals are too low. You got to have high goals. You have to have a dream big. But geographically, that's not right. No, it's if not. You... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's not. Aim for the stars and hit the moon, but. <laughs> yeah, the moon is closer. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know who said that quote. I, you know, I think I know who said that quote. That was Les Brown. Les Brown said that quote. And I have it too. I have it. I have it. Les Brown says, you know, you aim for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll be amongst the stars. But yeah, no, geographically, yeah, right. Spatially, you know. Yeah, the, the, the stars are way out there. The nearest star is like, is, is what actually. What that means is that you overshot the moon and you ended up among the stars. Yeah. <laughs> so so that it, still work. This, I, I was I would get my students with this one. What's the closest star to us? And they give me all this Alpha Centauri and all this other stuff. No, the closest star is our sun. <laughs> yeah. And another one I would get them with, and this is a one a video. This is uh what what's uh, how long does it take the, the Earth to go around the sun? Uh, it always it always messes with people's minds. It takes a year. It takes three hundred and sixty five days. For the earth to go around the sun yeah speaking about geography or space and how things work and how fast we're moving my gosh we're moving so fast 
uh, in space. <laughs> How long does it take? You know, 24 hours for the Earth to spin once, but that's, you know, we're traveling at uh, 17,000 17, or 1,700. I think it's 1,700 miles an hour at the equator. Okay, Google, how fast does the Earth spin? Uh, Here's what I understood well, from the website scientificamerican.com. The surface of the Earth at the equator moves at a speed of 460 meters per second. Four, a little more 460 meters per second. 460 meters per second. All right. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> getting dizzy. <laughs> I know, and people, the sunrise, sunset, but it's really just us spinning. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. Unless there's... But then how, how come I don't feel like getting out of bed in the morning? I should be getting thrown out of bed. <laughs> it should be thrown out so of bed. Fast. I should be used to speed. Why can't I stand Disneyland's fast rides? It's, it's all relative. It's the acceleration and deceleration. It's because it's you're moving at a constant speed. It's 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 constant. You don't feel it. It's constant. It's it's the acceleration. If the Earth were to all of a sudden stop, it, <laughs> it would know because we're traveling so fast. I mean, we'd have to slow down. But even if it slows down or speeds up a little bit, you would feel it. Fasten your seatbelts. That's why you're supposed to wear a seatbelt because if the, when there's a sudden stop, you're you're still moving. You know your insides are still moving. Right. So everybody, buckle up. Right. Especially uh, this season, and it's, it's not you know don't drink and drive, but there's other people that do. So definitely got to be careful out there. All right, we're just about done. Actually, all I need is a little little spirals here. I can um, see where they're going to fit. And I can kind of say the head like a little triangle here of spirals, um, and then just kind of swoops around, and then just swoops to a point, and then swoops here to another point, and then curves around there. That's good enough. And then on this side, there's another one, kind of like a little bit of a heart, like right in here in this space. I'm seeing the space, and then I just uh, go ahead and do it in there. Bam, like a question mark. It's all about asking questions. Ignorance is a choice. You right, got to ask questions. Ah, that was one of my favorite quotes. I haven't said this one in a while. Um, it's better to be, uh, it's, it's, ha, I haven't said it in a while. So it's, uh, you got to ask questions because it's better to be a fool for a minute than a fool for life. There you go. That's what it was. Let's see. I'm a fool for a second. There are no stupid questions, only stupid answers. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And one more swiggle up here. Yeah, it's really, it's all the, all the thinking is questions, being curious. How did they do this? How did they do that? And when, that's why I loved magic. I was like, wow. I was at the Magic Castle recently. It was like, wow, how did he do this? Oh, how did he do that? Okay, wait a minute. I can see how he did that. A lot of palming, a lot of this, a lot of that. Oh, we're missing, uh, we're just missing that. that <laughs> we're missing one more swiggle here. And then plus the, uh, on top of the, uh, that one's more of a zigzag. The designs on here, the designs on the belt. So there's a thickness that goes around here like this. Try to get that thickness. And then on the other side as well. And let's speed it up. I got to speed it up. Oh, I like going slow. And we've got all this like little designs on here, little um, like seeds. There's one there, one here. I'm just drawing it, not explaining it. So do the best you can. Always do your best. That's 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 all you can do. You can just do your best. I can break it down, but it takes it would take. We'd be here all night long. Come on, dance. Just do it. Just do it. Learn from. Don't be afraid of mistakes. You're going to make them. When you're finished, could you do one more bell? Just the outline of the bell? Oh, sure. Yeah. Mine are all. Huh? I did four and they're all deformed. Oh, that's all right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because you want to see the shape. If you're seeing, if you're seeing line, then, then uh, you're going to have trouble with that. I think there's that. Uh, there's that. There's those. 
I'm going to do the uh, other one, the one that's just one. So uh, if, uh, I'll put it in the chat as well. I'll do this one really quick. You'll see how fast uh, it can be done. I don't like to unplug it because it, uh, oh, maybe I should just uh, turn it down. Yeah, turn down my volume. Oh, then I can't hear you. That's what happened last time. <laughs> That's what happened last time. I turned down the volume and then I forgot and um, I couldn't hear you guys make, <laughs> making comments. All right. <laughs> Here we go. All right. So this is the way I did it. So a circle is a circle, right? From any angle, it's going to be round. It's going to be, it's an interesting shape and form. It's the most unique one, I think. From here, then it's the square. It's really circles and squares as ones we really need. All right. Then here from our center, our angle coming out in our axis line. So uh, it is coming out like here at this axis line. So on this axis line is where our, our bell is going to be, right? So um, it's coming down at this angle. We have our, our sphere. This is more than a circle. It's a sphere. And then we have our... our um, our, 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 our opening of the bell. Now the opening of the bell, it goes uh, perpendicular to this line. It's going in this direction. So this line, like right, right in here, goes straight across that, that line, perpendicular. So we're gonna, see, depending on how wide that is, right? Um, you can see it compared to, to the base. It should be a little bit wider. And then here, uh, it should be the same distance from here to there. So if you want to take a measurement, you can measure it. Or you can practice eyeballing it like I did. It's, it's pretty close, I think. Oh, let me see how close I got. I can actually, let's see. I don't know. It's just experience right there. There's one. And there's two. It's probably a little bit longer on this side. So then I can actually make it a little bit longer on this side. Seems we'll fi fix it. That's it. All right. And th this is going to help you make it. And it depends on how open this is. And on um, that one, it, it looks a lot more open and not even. But if you want to open it a little bit more, you can open it a little bit more. Right there. And then it has the uh, little, oh, there's this has a name. This little sphere in here it has a name right in there. Is that the clapper? Yeah, the clapper. That's what it is. You're right. The clapper. Clap on. <laughs> the clapper. <laughs> that's such a funny commercial, too, because it's, it's like she knocks out. Like she, and then she goes to bed. She like totally knocks out. It's so funny. Now, what's happening here, like to, if you really want to get that symmetry, you can actually aim. Look at it. Here's the this is the um, let's do this. This is the the cone. Like, there's the cone. I have to mute myself. <laughs> it's all right. Here's the cone. And then you're going to hit the cone of silence. <laughs> there is the cone of silence. We had, you're just having too much fun here. Happy holidays. Yeah, let's bring out that eggnog. All right, so you can see that cone now. Now all we're doing is just attaching that, that sphere onto the, uh, and this is a sphere. It's more than a circle. That sphere onto the cone. Right, look at that. And it, it should kind of come, squeeze in a little bit, squeeze it in, and then it squeezes out. And there it goes. There's that bale. Hails, bales. Right. <laughs> I know, sometimes it's just like, oh, you're, you're in touch with you, just, just off the cuff and just... There we go. That's that's it. And, and probably um, a, probably doesn't uh, this one doesn't taper as much. Actually, this one doesn't go out as much. The other one did. It depends on the bell, right? So then, actually, this one goes in more. This one doesn't go out more. But you know, every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. <laughs> I love that movie. Yeah, it's a wonderful life. It sure sure can be. But sometimes it's not. Though. I don't know. I cried that movie. <laughs> Oh man, I felt like I really could relate to George Bailey. He wanted to to travel and he wanted to do all this stuff, but just life, you know, life has its plans. You make your plans and God laughs. Yeah, George Bailey. 
You want <laughs> Mary, Mary, you want the moon, Mary? <laughs> All, right. All right, there's our bell. <laughs> and uh, how about when the, when the little kid says, I burped? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. I burped. What scene was it? One of his kids? Oh, no, yeah. little, the little girl. I burped. All right, I'm going to draw Santa Claus. I'm going to draw Santa Claus. He's got a sphere here, a circle. Sphere. There's our circle. We're going to draw some Santa Claus to sketch him out real quick. And then uh, we've got, um, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of push and pull. We've got that arm that kind of comes up here on top of that. And there's a little bit of a push. And then we've got his beard on top of that. And then we've got um, his head, like a circle shape right about there, that big right in there, the beard kind of coming around there. And we can actually push this belly in a little bit. I don't know, but definitely, oh, here's that that oval again. There's that oval teen again. There's an oval in here, that, this whole oval, like those kind of like right in there, like that bell. But this is the, um, when it comes out about that much, this is the bottom of his jacket or shirt or whatever that is but see that's why it's this important to draw that and practice that that shape that oval you can almost have to practice get a sketchbook that you're not going to use anymore or, or, or scratch paper and practice drawing these shapes practice drawing circles practice drawing ovals and this is a practice in itself the more you practice the more you progress and there it is and then the inside here these feet kind of come in here like this so it kind of come down off the circle here and then there's two boots right there. Those are two boots. There's one boot here, one boot there. I'm seeing the big picture. I'm not letting the details confuse me. I want to see these big shapes. I think the boot right about in here. It's almost like squinting. And I'm seeing how everything at all fits. And here's another. Here's a hand. There's going to be a hand right here. Actually, well, this is also the, the wrist. The hand is going to be right about there. Over here is the other hand. The belt right about there in that shape. And kind of curving around there then um yeah let's see just kind of blocking it all in blocking it all in then his face a lot more complex there's that circle shape and then here's the mustache right there the mustache there at that angle the nose then this way around that way and then the hat kind of like in here yeah right in there the hat oh that's an interesting tip i've never seen that kind of goes to a, a little line and then it goes into a little ball at the tip. Huh. Never seen that. A little whip. There we go. So it goes to like a little whip. Now I'm going dark. I'm going dark. Yeah, there it is. I feel confident. I feel confident. That's the shape. That's the line. That's where it needs to go. I'm going to go from the top and then I'm going to go down. But, you know, don't go dark till you, till you, you know, feel it's right. You go light. And then go dark when, when it's uh, when you feel it's right. Go light until it's right. Then you go dark. And then his hat kind of curves around this way. His cap. And his nose goes up. And there's some overlapping here. I'm going to bring this up, actually. I'm off. But I, I'm see, I'm going from, since I'm going from the top down, I can make these changes. And I went light. I'm going to bring the nose, this nose up. It's going to be right there. And I got the size of it. But I'm bringing it up a little bit. And then on this side, thickness of line, it's a little bit thicker, right in there. And then a um, big old mustache right in here, comes in right in there, how it fits. Then he's got an eye, kind of like right in there. See all these shapes, these parallel lines. I'm just drawing them without saying it. Then the beard, the mustache, a big thick line right near this bottom, it's thicker. Notice how thick that line is. And then there we go. Uh, Alan. Alan submitted this on the 15th, uh, seven days ago, a whole week ago. Wow. <laughs> Probably right after class. Let's get Santa up there. And then you don't see the other eye, the other eye's behind there. And then the the the, the cap just kind of closes around right in there. Bam. You only see one eye. There's the head already. Wow, look at that. That's really quick. Right there. 
And this is hard because this is form. I mean, it, 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 it's form. And you got to practice form. Sh uh, form is the next level. First it's shapes and then it's form. And you got to really, form is really tricky. Uh, but once you understand form and can see form and feel form, you kind of really feel it. You have to have a feel for it because I can, I can feel this um, three-dimensionality on a flat surface. It's, it's, a, it's a hard thing to do. And so you got to play with clay. You got to play with form and really see the form and how it changes with space and, and stuff like that. But there's, there's the head. And then the, the mouth is just an oval. It's right in here. Look at just an oval, another oval. And then make it wider in there, right in there. Bam. And then the lip, the bottom lip, right in here. That's at 830 already. Wow. Who's texting me? Somebody from Texas is texting me. That's my ex. <laughs> All my exes. Oh, well, nice. Huh. Ooh, wow. I'm at a, my friend's birthday party. Oh, nice. They sent me some pictures. All right, see, I, I see that circle, and then this is where that little, just this little line right here, see? See that form in there. That's that right there. And then the beard. Beard goes around here. See the beard? I still feel it. That's that's it right there. I was comparing it to the size of the head. Maybe it could go a little bigger. Maybe slightly bigger. Uh, but it's pretty good. Because I'm checking the proportions. Ratios, angles, proportions, the placement. How big this is, where it fits compared to this. I'm seeing that. I see it as a part and I see it as a whole. All right? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> uh, unexpected joke. I love those. <laughs> see it as a part and see it as a whole. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it's getting late. Uh, put the eggnog away. All right, here we go. Uh, th and there's all these little, um, oh, too many to kind of like, I can see how tight it is. It's just kind of like little uh, around here. I'm just going to not even going to shoot for accuracy. We're just going to just going to go in there. It's about that big all the way around. Some of them, it's not even, you don't even really see it. It's kind of even straight on some of it right there. And there's a thickness of line. If I had a marker, there it is. There's that big old beard. There we go. That's good. I can clean all this up, clean it up afterwards, or leave it alone. I don't know. So you want to practice drawing, not practice erasing. All right, let's get this arm in here. It comes right in here. Right here. There's a little bit of a neck right there, a little bit of a neck, and then the, the arm kind of attaches itself right there. See, it's already drawn there. We're just tracing it. It's sketched in there. I can see it and then do it. And actually, all this is actually um, an implied shape. Right there, this is all one color. Really, what's what's here is now the um, and this is a form too. This is a cylinder. It's a rounded cylinder that's happening right in here. This is a rounded cylinder. Uh, this one right here, oh, this cuff, is a rounded cylinder. There it is. And then the hand just kind of comes out of that. There's a little bit of a thumb, and I kind of messed up. It should be lower. My spacing is wrong. It's not a big deal. I'll just let it go. My spacing is wrong. It doesn't move. But this is a good skill. You know, even if you have to trace or have to, um, you know, use a projector, you got, it's good to have this drawing skill. If you really want it accurate, then yeah, use a projector, use grid drawings, use grids. Grids help. But by the time you draw a grid, by the time you, you know, it takes time or have a grid. But if you have a, a sketching skill, you can actually draw pretty quick. I mean, I can get an idea out pretty quickly. Bring, see, bring that belt down right in there. Bam, bam. Then a square inside a square. There it is. And then the belt, the belt kind of like underneath right there, right about there. <clears throat> it's going to be nine. Let me see. I wish you could meet them. Oh. <laughs> Let me see. We are drawing. 
the drawing. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Oh, we put that would be nice. That would be nice. Would be nice. We are drawing. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Let's take a picture. Full screen. Oh, let me see. <laughs> All right, how many people? Oh, I think uh, we think we lost a few people. Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna be here all night. Let's see. Uh, participants. Oh, we got 16 of you still here. That's awesome. <clears throat> let's go to oh over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, somebody's in here twice. <clears throat> oh, and there's our our uh, well, where's we drew. <clears throat> I got a sneeze. Hold on, where's my sneeze? Mute button. Ooh, I got it just in time. <laughs> I muted myself and <clears throat> my cough button. <clears throat> Actually, that was a sneeze. <laughs> That's a cough. I didn't catch that one. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to lower the hand and see where I had the hand before. <clears throat> the belly's right. Oh, my voice is going. <laughs> Maybe it's time to stop. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What happened? I lost my voice. <laughs> I hardly, I don't, it's very rare for me to lose my voice. <clears throat> wow. Okay, so that I can put the, the belly back in here, and then the fingers are right in here. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. That's too funny. I might have to stop. <laughs> wow, never had that happen. Oh, yeah. I think you should get a drink of water. Oh, yeah, huh? that would be good. <clears throat> Take, uh, take a break. Yeah, take a break. <clears throat> All right. Thank you. All right. So <laughs> the hands are going to go there. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> <clears throat> I have actually I have a drink I want. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, all right. There we go. <clears throat> I usually don't drink beverage. I drink water. And this is I guess I got this from somebody. Hi, yo, watermelon lime, organic. Mm. Oh yeah, there we go. That's better. <clears throat> there we go. Now we can. Oh, what's going on? Just, just kidding. All right, so we have a thumb right in here. There's the thumb. And the fingers and we have to bring them down but they're in this area <clears throat> right in here right and there's um there's really just four beans four beans and there's a little bit of overlapping so it overlaps that that circle there and so oh, find the middle first all right there we go there we go there's one right here one right there one two three and four there we go. And then we, the overlapping, see the belly goes underneath that right there. See that overlapping? And there's the fingers. There's the thumb. There's the belt. Oh, wow. It's not where it's supposed to be. It should be actually a little bit closer to the middle. I don't, I don't know if my coughing or my sneezing threw it off. I like a belt, bowl full of jelly. How does it go? I don't know. <clears throat> there it goes. That's it. All right. Whew. <clears throat> All right. So let's continue with this. Uh, the bottom part. I'm sure it has a name as well. All right there. And then uh, here's our oval. Right in there. Oh, it actually stops right in here. Doesn't go all the way. There we go, something like that. Bring the inside in. 
uh, right in here, right above the boots, and all this is like one, one piece as it comes in like that. <clears throat> Now, what's cool about the way we draw here is you can actually, um, you want to actually even practice that drawing small, drawing big. It, once you draw this, maybe look at the video, draw it smaller, draw it bigger, draw different sizes. Sometimes we get, we get you know, used to drawing at one size. <clears throat> and that's actually pretty good, especially the way I break things down by shapes. It actually would help. Like, wow, I can see it really, I don't know. I get blown away because <laughs> um, it's 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 different. It really is when you're drawing in different sizes. I don't know. You got to see where your comfort zone is, and then you definitely got to find your comfort zone first. Where are you comfortable? Because just finding your comfortable zone is uncomfortable. <laughs> and then once you find it, that's when you got to start stepping out of it. Like, okay, I'm comfortable with this now. Okay. Where's, where am I uncomfortable? Where am I having trouble? Let's draw hands. Let's practice drawing hands. Let's draw faces. Let's draw the body. Let's draw, you know. Then until you're comfortable with the uncomfortable, and you try to find something else that you're like having trouble with and get good at that. And take your time. Hurry up. There we go. Ah, there he is. Ho, ho, ho. Green giant. The red giant. All right, you can color them red. You can color them anything. That's it. Whew. Oh, let's see. Ah. <laughs> I've been missing all these. Let's see. Please share screen. Uh, did I do that? I have to run. Thank you, Eladio. I really enjoyed your class. I look forward to joining again. Barbara, thank you. And Bancroft, the and Patty Duke version of the Miracle Worker is a one to see. Oh, yeah. Thanks for not uh, telling your son's joke. I'm a G-rated person, yeah. And then have to run. All right, happy Christmas to all. Celebrate and uh, see you next week. All right, Christine. 8.42, yeah, well, that was just three minutes ago. Good, hopefully, I, did I catch it? No, she's out. And that's my daughter's name, Christine. Christine, Christine, I love you. I send you love. Lots of love. Always, always, always. All right, here we go. Hmm. Let's draw fast. Wow, we're not even we're, <laughs> we're on six of nineteen. Ah, here it is. Here's the vase. This is go fast. Here's the vase. All right, let's get that symmetry line in. Let's get that symmetry line. And this one has shading. There's shading to this. There's a line of symmetry. That's the first thing I'm doing on this one. And then getting the space. This is really interesting. I mean, the space, these are some exercises that, that should do drawing symmetry. So now here's here's my axis line. I have my, my vertical axis line. Now I'm getting the width line here. I can see where it's widest, right? And I'm trying to see the distance from here to here and get that to be here to here. So it's symmetrical, symmetry. And it does actually, it's not symmetrical. Well, I don't know if it's because of the artist or because of the vase. So um, it does pull up. I can see it pull up a little bit more on that side. It's It, it throws it off balance, um, which is fine. I mean, Did you notice that the, unless I'm seeing things, uh, the artist has, the, there's a shadow of the pencil in the drawing. Uh-huh. As if that's part of the drawing, as if, you know, he's, you know, there's, there, there are these drawings where the artist draws their hand drawing the drawing. Right. So this one looks like there's a shadow of the pencil on the wall, even though he doesn't actually draw his, do, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. There is a shadow under the pencil. And the pencil is not really part of the, I mean, Wait a second, unless it's actually a shadow of the pencil. Yeah, <laughs> I think it is. I know, but they do that as an optical illusion. I right, know. right. Trompe l'oeil. Yeah, trompe l'oeil. Fool the eye. Trompe l'oeil. Trompe l'oeil. So, yeah, so now it just occurred to me that, yeah, that maybe it's a shadow of the pencil, a real shadow. Yeah, trompe l'oeil. Or, or fool the fool. It looks, like, it looks like he possibly drew in that shadow. 
The sh yeah, the I juice know. Of the pencil and the drawing. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. It does yeah. look like a Trump boy. Yeah, Trump boy. Trump boy. boy. Well, it's fool the eye. Trump the eye. And how do you say uh, fool the fool? <laughs> Trump le Trump. I don't know. I don't speak. Is it French? Sestung de pipe. Sestung. This is not a pipe. That's a Greek painting. All right. So I'm actually just <laughs> drawing without talking, but um, that's basically what it is. And here, this is a, a, a you know, because this is like a sphere that's all stretched out. But then here we have a, a bottom part. This little part here is a, like a cylinder. It has that part and then it has a rounded bottom right there the rounded bottom that's it but that's a cylinder and you got to know a cylinder drawn a cylinder if i were to draw that other side it would be there <laughs> now that drinks that fizzes and it's got me burping now actually it, it does cut in a little bit faster this angle there's more i'm kind of stretching it out Sometimes you draw without paying attention. All right, so I'm going to, yeah, yeah, why not? I brought it in already a little bit. <clears throat> Rounded right up in there. See, these axis lines really help because then you want to look at the shape. You're looking at the shape and you're looking at the form. And this really helps feel the form. When you start drawing, it's like, oh, yeah, I feel that form. It's like, it's like getting this piece of clay and, and you know, putting that form in there. And then there's a cylinder up in here and then i have my axis line it's just going parallel with that cylinder it's going parallel with that uh, axis line that cylinder is going parallel with that axis line try to see i pulled it out a little bit more because i knew it wasn't thick enough on that side then i attach that piece of clay onto um, this vase right in there there we go okay google tell me an artist joke let's see if you know the artist joke <laughs> I love the Guggenheim Museum. I wish the architect wouldn't have cut so many corners. All right. So there's there's that trick. Having that axis line really helps. And then um then the lip, the lip of this vase, Boz. Goes um, up and right in here like that and out. And then it comes in at a slight angle. So this angle in here comes in like that. There we go. That boss. So I got one side, the closest side right there, close to a lip. Okay, Google, tell me another artist joke. Ah. Uh, Oh, another one, not the same one. All right, we have the front lip and the second back lip um, is an echo, but it looks like it curves up a little bit more and then comes down like that. There it goes. Back lip and it goes to a point. This comes out. And then now we have the handle. Let's get a handle of this. And uh, I'm going to sketch it in. It's going to start right about in here. Sketch it in light. You start out light till it's right. I'm going to put it in here. Put it in light. And it's going to come down to here, right about there. And that's it. It attaches. You know, putting it in light. Sketch it in lightly. There it is. Don't take it lightly. Just sketch it lightly. And then we just sketch it in. Or draw it in. Now, this one has some um, uh, value studies and light and dark and, and um, whole next level, definitely intermediate kind of stuff. Uh, this is the structure that's more important first. Uh, stop your talking. Focus on your drawing. Yeah, the structure is more important. Once you have the structure, yeah, practice getting structure, then the drawing of the light and the dark and the shading and how it attaches, that's the next level. That's where you... Once you have a good 
feel or sense of then that's you want to go into that level of shading and and uh, getting the whole thing to shade backgrounds and I don't know so if we'll get to that level with even my Tuesday's class we're not really there we're just trying to get structure we're drawing the structure of the head and using the Loomis method a Loomis structure actually it's a Loomis it's a structure which he uses a sphere and a shield so he uses a shield and the sphere to start off his heads like that yeah there we go and you got the eyes eyes in the middle the thirds yeah, the nose, yeah, in the mouth, right, interesting, fascinating, and then drawing it from memory too, I'm trying to, as you practice drawing it, Come on, Vogue. This face here, this ear. All right, there's our vase. Uh, and yeah, there's there's there, there's things going on with the vase. I'm not crazy about. But it's okay. It's good. We want to practice shading and stuff. I'm not going to talk about shading tonight. Let's just, we're really just practicing on our drawing. So we'll probably just leave it at that. And let's, let's see what's next. Seven. All right. It's, it's going to be nine. Oh, all right. I'm going <laughs> to, I'll do this real quick. This is the, because uh, I, I, I don't know who requested it, but um, I'm going to start off with the circle. And, uh, and then this is the, uh, the uh, this is the Charlie Brown tree. And coming up over, I'm getting that. Uh, I can see all those pine needles there, but I'm getting this branch. This is the main branch that kind of flows over, kind of comes down. And here's here's the uh, whole base of that. You see the distance? That's placement. There's a set of set of um, pine needles there, and another set of pine needles here. And that's that's pretty good. Another set of pine needles over here. Another set of pine needles here. Another set of pine needles there. Another set of pine needles there. Do I have a green marker? No, green marker. I have a purple marker. Oh, no, this is brown. Oh, this is good. I'll use a brown marker. See how quickly I can. Oh, let's use the red marker here for the, the sphere. So we got our sphere here. There are our um, ornament. Damn. Um, and then the top, the top has a. Um, a cylinder. Merry Christmas to y'all. All right, Cynthia, thanks for joining us. See you next week. If not, we'll see you next year. Oh my gosh. Where does the time go? All right. And there it is. And then it's got a highlight. And it's got reflection and all kinds of stuff going on. But the ornaments right in there. Something like that. Everything else. Let's just draw it in real quick. Watch. Bless you. That was my radiator. Did you hear a ping? Yeah. I thought I was muted. <laughs> um, I really messed up the, the Grinch um, draw, paint, drawing because I, I tried painting it and I, and I made a real oh, mess. That's so okay. I, just, I, no, I just edited it on my phone and it, it now looks pretty decent. So oh. I just posted it to Facebook. Oh, cool. Because uh, I, you know, I changed the intensity of the colors and it just, it's, it, it looks much better. Is that cheating? No. Not at all. No, no, no. See, we, yeah. 
Everybody, you no, know, I, I know artists that trace. I know artists that, uh, oh my gosh. What's important is that you get what you're, you're trying to express. Your, what, what is it, your, your, your artistic intention? You know, it doesn't matter how you get there. As long as you get there, it's like, oh, okay. And, it, it, and what does it mean by cheating? I mean, the, the thing is, if you want to, um, what your intention is, if your intention is to, to uh, improve your skill while you're doing it, if your intention is to draw without tracing, that's that's a whole other thing. If you or draw without, I mean, it depends on what your intention is, right? What's your artistic intentions? And everybody has different intentions, right? I mean, you know, so if your intention is to draw fast, you can use a marker. I mean, I mean, I don't know. You, the thing is, you, knowing your intention, knowing your purpose, knowing what you're shooting for, that's what's important. And then, uh, you know, how you get there, well, there's 101 ways. 101 ways there's a lot of ways to get to to where you and some some ways are going to be faster some ways are going to be easier some ways are going to be better but the only way you're going to learn which way is the best way for you is to to go different ways sometimes you got to go this way sometimes you go that way you know uh try different stuff you know and, and uh you'll see if you don't get it one way you'll get it another yeah one way or another one way or another oh, one way or another they're going to get you. We have a radio station here in New York um, that plays classics. Cla they call it classic, but they play that song 50 times a day. Oh, my gosh. That's how classic it is. <laughs> they play the same 10 songs over and over again. It's the same guy asking for the same songs over and over every day. I don't so know. <laughs> no, I don't know. I want to hear that song. I know even the pop music is like, oh. It's too repetitive, and then it's repetitive in itself. I, I don't know. I like songs with story, songs with meaning. Then you must listen to the country western. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll listen to some of it. Some of it has a little, I don't know. They all have stories, right? Yeah. About their dogs, and their trucks. <laughs> no Lucille. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash, little little uh, what is that? Uh, a boy named Sue. <laughs> That's it. I like that one. Boy named Sue. I'm just I'm just just throwing like uh, lines on here. I'm not shooting for too much accuracy. I'm just see. And that's what you got to decide. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna get the feel of it and then let it go. It's just a sketch. You know, sometimes we just try to make every drawing perfect sometimes you just want to okay i'm just going to enjoy it. i'm just going to see i see these these lines going in different directions all, all these needles and just play with that play with it you know i got a marker and just like okay, i'm just going to do these needles going different ways right here these needles are, should probably be a little bit closer because then it looks like a little palm tree or something but there we go just do it get all this scribble scribble jabble in different directions needles there we go and then uh we got some cloth down here a uh, little blanket um, nice and cozy All right, I think that's it. Let's see what's next. I'm trying to draw these. <laughs> I want to draw fast. Ooh, these pine cones. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to do a sketch. This is an actual picture. I'm going to put this one in the chat. Uh, but basically, they're just circles. Really, they're just circles. Maybe I need to stretch. All right, let's see. Let's share my screen. Hurry on. Oops, there we go. Yeah, look at that. It's just circles. Let's see how much of a circle they are. Uh, I think I'll, I'll block it in so you can see. There we go. We have a perfect circle here. All right. There it is. There's one circle. A one. A two. A three. How many licks does it take? And then this is what you want to see. You want to see an abstract this. Don't, don't let the details confuse you. You want to see how big they are and how big um, the relationship of these circles. See, this one's the biggest. This one's a little smaller. This one's 
smaller still and it's on top right so this is the 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 composition or the yeah that's it that's the ticket and then this is broken down into other little patterns and stuff all right let's just do it real quick tall people stop sharing let's do this all right i've got one circle here and they're actually they're perfectly fit in the circle there's one there one over here a little smaller and then this one a little bit smaller right about right about there with some overlapping see then i can see this one's a little higher this one's a little lower this is right about there all right and then we've got the uh oh, again little pine needles the thickness depends on oh yeah see oh, i'm gonna use this pencil see how this pencil i used a, a, a blade i gotta find my blade so you can see and then from here i can use this and i can get to some more i'm just sketching it out so these lines that in here oh this is a good blind contour drawing exercise actually using these shapes and drawing a pine cone i would have my students do that back when i used to teach drawing they used to do blind contour drawings of the of the pine cone it's actually giving me flashbacks there's one right in here it's, ah no a little pine cone right there a little pine cone over here see i'm just sketching it in ah no, no. Ah, i am actually we're probably gonna have to call it a break oh yeah probably gonna have to call it a night it's uh, it's nine o'clock yeah we're not going to 10. i mean, actually even we should only be going to eight you know, since we're going to two nights a week yeah my batteries are giving out but you get the idea i don't know what works oh yeah i just totally i don't know if it was a drink or what <laughs> i just my my batteries just gave out oh, i felt them wind down oh trirota that looks nice too that trirota mm, yeah i think we're gonna call it a night yeah, yeah. oh and this is the house is oh, we've done stuff like that on the chair and the house is oh yeah we got through most of the stuff i wanted to anyways yep, yep, yep. of course you're all getting in all right an m m e p for sharing let's stop this video stop